Institute. This is going to be another Tint Whiz training video, which is a part of the Teaching Tint Whiz series. In this one, I'm going to specifically go over how to create and send an invoice, which is also another great feature of this program. If you're not signed up already, just go to tintwiz.com. You can sign up for free right here. And it's super simple to sign up. There's no credit cards required or anything like that. Um, if you have already signed up and you want to just know what the invoicing system looks like and how to use it, then you can follow along here. So there's a couple different ways to send invoices. Um, there is a way to send invoice if you already have a project or an estimate or a proposal in the system. And then there's a way to send an invoice just super quickly, like say for a walk-in customer for automotive. So let's go over option number two, which is just to get out an invoice rather quickly. So I went to the invoices tab and then I clicked add new. And you can select a project here. So say, you know, Moon River, um, needed to be invoiced, I could pick out their project and go ahead and invoice them from this tab. But this is going to be a new, like I said, kind of walk-in customer and they're a new client for us. So <clears throat> we're just going to do their simple contact information. I'm going to do a phone number, first and last name. As I said, this is an individual and I'm just going to put their email as well. And then um, I do like their address system. It auto populates popular addresses as you start typing it in. So you don't have to fill in all of the info. And then you could add notes if you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and save that contact. And then as I mentioned, it's gonna be a walk-in auto tinting customer. So we're gonna do Acura, TLX, black, and it's gonna be a full car. And then um, you can put in a project name is optional as well as notes. I'm not going to include that for this specific one. Like I said, we're trying to get this person in and out quickly. And you can go ahead and plug in the rate. So the full car for them was $350. You can add in more description into the notes. So I'm going to do um, full car ATC tinting. We keep our invoices pretty vague. We don't want to put that, you know, we did something dark on the front two windows, for example. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here just to make sure everything looks correct. Say they got a headlight restore or something like that, you can quickly add another line item. And that was gonna be 65. And you can also add sales tax if that's something that you do for your business in your state. And they do have a tax rate section here where you can put in specific ta tax rates. So we're going to go ahead and save that invoice. And say the client is right here in front of me. The purpose of doing this invoice is to obviously keep a record of that sale on file so you know what you're collecting for the day and also um, you know what types of invoices have been run through your business. And you can add a payment right on TintWiz. So say they paid cash, for example, you could collect a cash payment. Or say you have a POS system that you're collecting a card payment. You can put that on here. And I'm just going to write that they did the full 415 payment in cash, save payment, and I show that it's paid. Now, Casey wants a copy. Okay, great. I not only have her on record, but I can also go ahead and send her that paid receipt. So that's a way to do a quick invoice um, in the system. Another way to do an invoice in the system is to actually go to a proposal or a project that you've already been working on. Um, I went over this in another video, but something that's really great is that the proposals are in the system. It shows are they approved, are they viewed, are they not sent. So for example, there's one down here for a Toyota Prius. Their proposal was approved and um, say we already did the work, the customer's like, you know, I'm at work, why don't you just go ahead and invoice me before I pick up the vehicle type thing. Well, I can <clears throat> go down here and do create invoice 
And the nice thing is it's going to auto populate the project that I've already input for this customer and it's going to auto populate their contact info. So basically I'm just turning their project into an invoice right there. It's super simple, super easy. And um, I can go ahead and save this and then I can go ahead and send it from there and it's going to email it over to the customer. And I'm just checking that everything looks good. Um, and you can view the invoice as well. And this formatting is editable in the TintWiz system. So you can edit that if need be, but you can also see exactly what the customer is gonna see when they open up this invoice. And I'm gonna go ahead and send that. So you can see on here, there's no link to pay, but TintWiz does have a feature where it integrates with QuickBooks. Um, so that's great because your QuickBooks system and the TintWiz system are not only talking to each other, but that is a way that you can collect payments and they'll be recorded in TintWiz. So by linking up QuickBooks and TintWiz, you can collect payments and also keep track of everything. So those are two different ways to invoice customers. Um, another thing that I like about the invoice system in here is you can see what invoices have been sent, which ones have been paid, um, which ones have been viewed, which is super important because we all know customers say, oh, you know, I didn't receive that invoice. And it's like, well, actually, I can see you've opened it multiple times. So, um, for example, this one, if we take a look at it um, and go into their invoice, you can see it's viewed right there and they don't have any payments recorded. So that's one thing that I really like about this system is it not only tracks what your internal team is doing, but also what customers are doing. If they are opening up your estimates or invoices, approving them, if they view them or if they're paid. And then if you clicked into it further, like I just did, it showed exactly what date and time that he opened this invoice. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. Um, TintWiz also has an online chat support. So um, that works really well. Um, if you need a quick response on something super specific, especially if it's specific to your account. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.